Good morning, nerds. I've changed around my audio a little bit, so hopefully you can hear me a little more clearly. Apparently I was a little mumbly on the first, oh, I don't know, six episodes. So my apologies. I'm going to be dialing in and getting better at this whole YouTube thing as I go along. As you can tell, I don't really know what I'm doing. So today's goal, as yesterday... We defeated the Lich, the first of the four fiends. Restored light to the Earth Orb. So now we have to move on to the next fiend in line, which is fire. And that is on the extreme other side of the map. So, buckle in, sit tight, we're going to take a really long voyage. I don't think the enemies are going to change at all as we get closer to the other side of the world. I think we're basically stuck with these same basic enemies from here on out. Disappointing, but they're easy and the gold does add up. I will eventually have to go back to Melmon to get some of the higher level spells. I don't think I topped off Red Mage and Black Mage just yet. Also, you'll notice I changed the order. Red Mage is now second in line ahead of Thief. I did this because you may recall Thief was taking some really nasty hits. I wasn't sure why he was taking so much damage. Took a look at his defense, it was a 5. I don't have any really good armor for him right now. Red Mage has a defense of 23. He goes first. I also really like with this game how all the numbers are so low. It's not like I'm playing a Disgaea or, I don't know, one of the Tales games where your stats will be in the hundreds. Or for Disgaea, the thousands. Here, it's like defense 5, defense 3. Strength is 20, attack is 26. It's very manageable. Alright, we gotta go all the way around. And I need to try to find a port near Crystal Lake. Which... Should be somewhere up around this side of the continent. Right, so I also checked um, my chest situation for that one achievement I was going for. 100% opening every single chest. I missed four of them in the Earth Cave. And I missed about six in the March Cave. So I'll eventually have to go back and get those. I might do that off stream just because. I don't know, it's gonna be incredibly boring. I mean, it's the original Final Fantasy. It can only be so exciting, but. Ooh, new enemy sprites. And he's dead. There's Crystal Lake. I wonder why they call it that. Hmm, it's a mystery. Crescent Lake. Why was I saying Crystal Lake? Oh, it was because of Friday the 13th. Probably. Alright, what do we got for gear? Okay. Mithril shield, two bucklers, mithril gloves. Excellent. Let's go optimal. There we go. Cool. Next. Optimal. Good. Optimal. Good. Oh, defense seven. Ooh, his evasion is 34%, though. That is pretty good. 
If they can't hit him, it doesn't matter what his defense is. Alright, before we shop for spells, let's take a look in here, see what we got. Metal knife, metal sword, metal hammer, metal axe. Oh, well, that's a nice big jump. And what we got here? Also a nice jump. Alright. Sell our old stuff. Not gonna sell the worm killer yet. I might come across a bunch of dragons, and I might really appreciate still having that in the inventory. Alright. Everyone's a little tougher, everyone's a little stronger. Let's see what we got for spells. Cure stone, can't get it. Transports the party out of dungeons. Can't get it. Raises the party's defense, can't get it. Raises the party's evasion, can't get it. Okay. Maybe do my 8-bit theater tribute is gonna start to hurt me. Undaga. Paralyzes an enemy, causes an effect to swallow enemies, instantly kills an enemy. It sounds like those aren't gonna work too well. But let's go with Quake just in case it can eat a bunch of smaller enemies at one time. Husband's always traveling, and the little time he is home, he sleeps all day. I think he needs to get his priorities straight. Um, that sounds like so many people I know. And we just can't help it. Alright, here we go to Circle of Sages. One of them is not like the others. I am Lucan. I see a cycle of wrath, a dim light, guided by destiny, about which our entire future revolves. Twelve sages are we, guided to this land by the stars and prophecy. Four great crystals exist in this world. The light that once shone within them is now lost. The four fiends of chaos bought the power of the crystals, claiming it as their own. Fire, earth, water, and wind. What, where's Heart? Heart is always getting the short end of the stick. The source of the four forces are the altars scattered throughout the world. The, fe the fiends have taken root there and lift up the crystal you carry to the altar. The crystal should regain its brilliance. We already did this at the first one. The four fiends plot to rule the world both past and present. The Fiend of Wind appeared 400 years ago, followed 200 years later by a Fiend of Water. Together they laid waste of civilization in the north. Ooh. The Fiend of Earth rots the land. He used to, he's dead. Er. Dead er. Where the Fiend of Fire passes, all is engulfed in flame. It's because she's hot. When all four crystals shine once more, return here. All will be revealed. Bring the light of the four crystals to us, warriors of light. Only you can do this. The volcano, Mount Golg, rises to the west of this town. The fiend of fire long slept within its passages. But she has awoken 200 years before her time. Vanquish her before the world is consumed in flame. Well done, Warriors of Light. You've defeated the Fiend of Earth and restored the Crystal's Light. Sadly, this is drawn to notice of the Fiend of Fire, who is not to have stirred for another 200 years. Take this canoe and go face the Fiend of Mount Glog. Golg? Golg. I like how he's just carrying a canoe under his robes. It makes no sense. Lucan doesn't have anything else to add, okay. I like the illusion there to the the past and the present, and mentioning that the fiends emerge at different times. 
I'm not. Ooh, I'm gonna grab a few of these just in case. I'm not 100% up on my lore, but I think that's going to be important. Okay, let's buy some more Phoenix Downs. I'm also looking forward to eventually playing Final Fantasy Origin and seeing how it ties into this. Alright, we're all good. Let's go hop in a canoe and at least travel to the volcano. Hey. Ooh, Black Mage level up. 33 intellect, nice. Okay. Uh, let's go up. I think I see it over to the left. <sighs> Poison is still so annoying. I mean, I've got plenty of antidotes now, but still. It's irritating. Oops, nope. Not that way. Let's go this way. And that is not a canoe. Take a look at that sprite again when I get out of this battle and after I cure fighter of more poison. That is not a canoe. Mm -mm. I have been in canoes. That is a rowboat. They have oars on either side, and there's the shape of it. It is not a canoe. In the original game, it was definitely a canoe. Why did they change that? Why did they make it worse? Th this game is completely unplayable now. It's, 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 it's a rowboat. It's supposed to be a canoe. They made it a rowboat. All right. Oops, that's how you get in, okay. All right, let's see what this is like. Um, uh, oh, that's, that's gonna get real annoying real fast. And again, I'm going to need more antidotes and some more potions in order to really tackle this dungeon. And I need to be really careful about where I step, because I goofed just then and I caused us to take some more damage when I really shouldn't have. That's okay. We got this. He's poisoned again. I am slightly annoyed at this amount of poison. Alright. Oh, scorpions. Hey, I guess I wonder what they do. Besides sing overplayed power ballads. can go this way so I'm not stepping on all the lava. I don't know how far in I'm going to make it. Well, let's try and see. Oh, of course. Is it fire elemental? Of course it is. Okay, good, good, good bad, but that's why I have all the Phoenix Downs now, so... Ooh, Mithril Helm for free! He already has it. Okay. Alright, he's back up. There's my high potions. There they are. 
Let's give him two to spring back up to full. Wow, this little treasure room is so big. Of course. I'm definitely noticing a step up in difficulty with the regular monsters from what we were doing in the Earth Cave. Let's go. I see a chest there. Let's go get it. Yeah, they're. Wow, twice in a row, that, that hurts. Three times. Ugh. I'm going to miss just being able to hit auto attack and just letting it go. We are taking too much damage for me to really do that. Okay. I like preemptive attacks. I like Black Mage killing them in one hit even more. Ah, oh, good job. Fire Elementals, yep. Only now there's two of them. Alright, Earth Elementals, but there's just a one of them. It's a definite step up. Nothing we can't handle. Thief went up, he hits a little harder now, good. One giant, piece of cake. Good. Red Mage is gonna level up again real soon. It's only got like 800 experience left to go. I love it. I love seeing the numbers go up. That's part of the appeal of these old RPGs. You don't really play them for the story. You play them because you like seeing numbers go up. Alright. Eh, not the best of level ups. Still not entirely sure what luck does, but... It can't hurt. Alright, we're actually in pretty good shape. Okay, it's a dead end up there, so let's go down. Up. Oh, another enemy on the map. Probably gonna be more fire elementals, but. That's better. It's a lot of hit points. Yeah, more fire elementals. Basically seeing a monster sprite like that is just like a monster in a box, I guess. And these aren't too bad. This is another Mithril Helm, Mithril Gloves. Man, I should come here before shopping. Gill, monsters, lava worm. Okay, not too bad. What do we get? 1500 gill, monsters, is another worm? It is. Alright, that's alright. One rotation, he goes down. Nice, and black mage is about to level up, and more, f more gold! He's got about 300 HP. Black Mage. That's a good level up. 246 HP. Pretty good for him. Mithril Axe, Mithril Shield. Phoenix down. Nope, oh, that's right, he can't use the Mithril Shield. Okay.
stupid Windows pop up. Okay. Windows 8 never, never gave me unwanted notifications. It's far superior. Take a moment, look at the map. It's, that mini map is really helpful. I would get so lost. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a door at the bottom. Didn't see it at first, trying to think too fast and move too quick. That is how mistakes happen. Good work. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Uh, left or right? Let's go to the left. What's not? Okay, that's not bringing our health down too much. It looks like it's just like poison, which is bringing us down 1 HP each step we take. We are bulky enough, we can handle that. It's almost like a weird puzzle game to take the fewest steps possible. Okay, that looks bad, so let's heal up just in case. Just fighter eats all my high potions. There we go. Okay, how to do this. It's awkward, but it works. There's only so much damage I'm going to be able to prevent. Ooh, he just one-shot the Ogre Mage. Nice. Let's go this way. Okay, I see the stairs. I think that's the easiest way to go. Wait, they're going up. Why did it bring me back up to the third floor? I just assumed I'd always be going down. this direction. It looks like there were some rocks blocking me on the other half of the third floor, so that's why we had to go down to go up to probably go back down again. Makes sense, just better level design than I was expecting. Not that the level design in this game is bad, it's pretty good actually. I take a wrong turn. I think I may have. Yeah, um, this game holds up remarkably well in 2022. Considering when it came out. And, oh, I did not take a wrong turn. Excellent. And considering that in this game, the reason it's called Final Fantasy, it's pretty well known now that Squaresoft 
was going to go out of business, and this was their last Hail Mary attempt. That's where I came from. So yeah, if this game hadn't worked out, Squaresoft would have gone out of business and, okay, auto battle off. This is, okay. Are we all going to be okay? Don't worry about using a heavy duty spell. Okay, we're all okay. That really hurt. Okay. I can't believe that from a little game like this that they were only hoping would be a success. Because at the time, the other big name in RPGs was uh, Dragon Warrior, or Dragon Quest rather. And even then, that had only had one entry, I think? I don't even think Dragon Quest II came out before this. And the original Dragon Quest is very simplistic. You just have the one character. You don't have a party to take care of. There's especially not different classes and different equipment options. That that didn't exist. This was basically the first console game to really make that happen the way that they did. Unless there's some other RPG I'm missing, but definitely in North America, this was the first one. Ooh, nice, okay. Taking so much damage from the lava. I don't even care about the lava worm anymore. Just 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 kill it. Just make it go away. Good job, Black Mage. Got two hit points. Hmm. A fire lizard. I'm surprised it took three hits. Ooh, thief. Nice, agility went up. Okay. Two hits, not bad. I think this is gonna be a treasure room, yeah. Keep going to the upper left. I see something over there. Might just be a treasure room. Maybe there's stairs inside. I don't know anymore. Lots of treasure. Okay, not bad. Ice brand. Is that like an ice sword that we can equip? Flame shield, nice. Did they change the location of the ice and fire swords? Yes, he did. Oh, that makes things so much easier now. Okay. In the original version, the fire sword was found here in the volcano. And it was inside the ice cave 
that you would find the Ice Sword. Which made it really awkward, because whichever one you went to first, you'd get the item to use in, in the second one. Which isn't really awkward so much as a pretty good dungeon design. Because I believe in the game at this point, if I wanted to go to the ice cave, I could have. But I think... <coughs> I'm so sorry. Level and enemy wise, I think it's easier to do it this way. Oh, it wasn't even the treasure monster. Okay. I think I've come across more treasure chests in this one dungeon. And I have and the first three put together. All right, let's go down. Oh, of course. I don't think I've played a game with this many monsters hiding in a treasure chest. Let's two in a row. I just assume every chest is gonna have a monster in it. Not bad, not bad at all. Strength up, agility up. A staff. Can sell that for two gold. <sighs> okay. Oh, now it's a cool effect. Didn't help him any, but it looked cool. Treasure room? Yes. Ouch. Oh, I didn't think there would actually be it. Oh, jeez, okay. I have enough spell slots, so let's just not even mess around. Good. I was worried that might be like a surprise mini boss or something. Flame mail. This defense goes up by 10? That's huge! Take less damage if I go around this way. That that ice sword is. I forgot auto battle. Yeah, change what Black Mage is doing. That ice sword though is making a huge difference with fighter. Fire Giants, okay. They're obviously not as cool as Pendergreens is. He's my favorite Fire Giant. And if you know who Pendergreens is, congratulations, we can be friends. Oh, holy crap. 
crap. Seriously? It's a fire fiend already? And one more for good measure. Alright. Let's quick save. Here we go. So you're the ones who defeat the Fiendiverse and rouse Merilith from her slumber. Her name was like Carrie or Kari in the first game. power of the burning flame is mine and mine alone. Those who would oppose me shall burn in hellfire. Alright. Now that... That is a boss sprite. Also, I think... Maybe the only... Distinctly female sprite in the entire game? Anyways, judging by what happened to Lich, this shouldn't be too bad. Especially not with Fighter hitting for over 200 points. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I don't love it. Okay. That's scary. And let's use... Zara. Alright, she's not down yet, and we did over 500 damage. Let me use Bazara. If they can basically go down to critical in one hit, I'm not going to bother healing them. I don't think she has that much HP left already. It's, it's just as efficient just to revive him every time. Yeah. It's it's a sprint, it's not a marathon. Very good. I mean, all she did was basic attacks. It's a little disappointing, but... What can you do? Alright. Rekindled Flame unlocked. I have defeated the Fiend of Fire. Let's see, there's a Phoenix down on Red Mage. And then let's stay in the tent. I don't think anything bad will happen, but just want to do that. Save up. All right. So that was way more than I meant to. Than I did. I. I'm a little shocked. I'm in. You know, I'm in disbelief that the fiend of fire went down that quickly. The entire volcano. I made it through that easily. Let's take a look at the chest. Oh, I'm missing seven chests. Okay. Oh, but it was still unexpected. I honestly thought this would be a little harder. Seems like uh, my Project Final Fantasy playing all the games right now is going to be more of an endurance thing. Just see if I can keep up with it. At this rate... I might be playing Final Fantasy 2 by the end of the month. I'm very excited for that. 
I think when I'm playing two and three games I don't know like the back of my hand I think the degree of difficulty would be much higher in those because I just won't know where to go or exactly what to do whereas in this one it's kind of ingrained in my memory all right that being said it was a successful session now we'll see everyone tomorrow <laughs>